Oh, what is going on, everybody? My name is Jacob Forster, and welcome to a new little indie horror game for today. This is Lights, Camera, Slaughter. <laughs> I'm excited to check this out because it very much reminded me of what Puppet Combo does. The following evidence is for the Department of Federal Homicides, Utah. Hopefully in Utah. No copy shall be made of this evidence tape under section ADB.318. Fraudulent activity with any evidence can result in a fine and or of and or 17,000 or three years in federal jail. Okay, sounds good. The following footage you're about to witness is a true ongoing case. On July 9th, 1991, Officer M. Andrews was found brutally murdered at Miller and Son Slaughterhouse. Forensics predict he was killed with a 13 inch butcher knife once used at the now abandoned Slaughterhouse. This type contains scenes of murder, blood, gore, and partial nudity. Okay. Interesting. Ah, here we go. Lights, camera, slaughter. <laughs> but yeah, th this heavily reminded me of something that would have been done by Puppet Combo. Obviously, this is probably going to be a little bit of a more mature game, just as a heads up. I hate working the night shift here. There's never any 911 calls this late. Everyone's gone back home, so I'm all alone. Proceed to skip. Okay. I mean, seriously. Last night I got a call from Miss Jenkins about her cat in a tree. Some people have no lives. Just like nerds who play video games. <laughs> hey! <laughs> but that's enough complaining. I should make myself a water and start my shift. It's gonna be a long night. I can interact with objects using E and walk around with WASD. Okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm not ready for this. Uh, any of these type of like slasher games, they're always pretty they're always pretty intense. They always freak me out. <laughs> so we'll see how this goes. Oh, Time Magazine. It's a magazine dated in 1989. Looks pretty old and well used. Hmm. Get a cup of water? Uh, not yet, not yet. It's a fire alarm switch. I can't pull it, can I? Oh, no, not yet, not yet. Okay, let's see what else I can interact with before I grab water. The state finally gave us a new vending machine. Darn shame I don't have any cash for a soda. Okay. It's a billboard filled with flyers about yard sales, charity runs, and events. There's also some missing person posters dating back three months ago. Okay. This trash can is full with garbage. Someone should really empty it. <laughs> Not me, of course. Okay, all right, let's get our water. Yes. Uh, look at it go. Ah, sippy sippy? Do I put it down? Do I leave? Oh. Now that I have my drink, I can start taking some 911 calls that come in. I just need to find a desk with a red phone. This will let me take any incoming calls. Okay. Step one, find a desk with a red phone. Let's go, let's do it. Spill word of silver pages about code of conduct and training tips. Read training notes, yeah sure, why not? Training tips for 911 operators. Stay cool, calm, and collected. If the caller is in distress, stay calm. Ensure help is coming, even though officers may be hours away. Sure they are just around the corner. Take notes. Take notes of everything you hear. It may save a life. Number four. There's nothing there. Strange. Okay. I'm already... <laughs> I'm already stressing out. <laughs> okay. More snacks? Yep. Okay. Another Time Magazine. I just want to see what I can interact with here before we start moving. I don't need a drink right now. Okay, that's fair. That's totally fair. I can't leave now. I just clocked into work. All right, that's fine. <laughs> okay, that's the red phone. It's a billboard filled with flyers about yard sales, charity runs, and events. There's also some missing person posters dating back three months ago. Okay, all about the same. All right, let's check in here. I can use this computer and phone to take calls. Sit down and take 911 calls? Absolutely, yes. All right, let's do it. I can answer the phone by looking and pressing E. Once I've answered the phone, I can ask multiple questions. I need to get as much information as possible. Okay. Why is that light red outside? <laughs> I don't trust it. Is anyone gonna call me? Oh! Hello, please help, I need a fire department. Uh, slow down, what's going on? There's a hot babe here and she's smoking. <laughs> Sir, this is for emergencies only. F you, buddy. <laughs> I'll just do dot dot dot. <laughs> what a waste of time. <laughs> Sick. Love those 911 calls. Smoking, babe. Oh. 
Straight ahead. Da da da. I don't think you should reply with hello when you're a 911 operator. Who is this? Do you need help? Sir or ma'am? Sir? Hello? Are you safe? Another prank call, great. Are you sure that was a prank call? They may have been in serious distress. Oh gosh. Oh no. I'm like looking around the room in case something's gonna come up behind me. Uh, okay. Uh, hello? I want to report a disturbance. What's going on? Four k kids are trespassing at the Miller and Son Slaughterhouse. Okay, sir. When did this happen? They just went in. I, I can hear screams. Hurry! Okay, sir. Please are on the way. Hurry! They're arriving now, sir. Oh. What's going on? On July 2nd, 1990, Officer M. Andrews would go missing whilst on duty in the Maston Lake area. His last known whereabouts was Miller and Sons Abattoir, just north of Maston Lake. Although his body was found, it was too mutilated and outright horrific to identify at the time. Specialists say he was hacked with a sort of butcher knife roughly 16 inches in length, with tremendous force. This weapon was never found. Okay. M. Andrews was responding to a dispatch call of disturbance within the perimeter of the Miller and Son establishment. Although dispatch lost all contact with Andrews after responding to this call. It was believed he was struck whilst trying to enter the now abandoned building itself. However, only M. Andrews will know the full story. Oh no. Does that mean we get to play as him? Oh no! <laughs> dispatch, this is Andrews. I've just arrived at the scene now. No signs of anyone here so far. Over. 10-4, Andrew. Mr. Jenkins said he saw four kids enter the slaughterhouse, probably some rave again. Well, I'll look for any clues and a way into the building. I'll let you know if I see anything. 10-4, Andrews. Pass my best wishes to your wife. How long has she got? Three months. I'm visiting her in the hospital tonight. I'll pass your message on. Over and out. Oh no! Uh-oh. Okay, frame rate is a little funky. It's a little funky, so hopefully everything looks fine on the recording. Oh no. Oh, oh, my body's not ready. Oh, you can run. That's not good. Lakota. Alright, here we go. Let's go investigate whatever's going on in here. This must be their car. The hood is warm to the touch, and the motor starter is still clicking. They must have arrived within the last hour or so. Okay. How do we get in, though? Hmm. We're going this way? No, we can't go that way. I mean, that's obviously the whole factory area. Just gotta figure out how to get in. <laughs> Probably just missed a door right at the beginning there, but we'll see. Yeah, I definitely did. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Let's find the entrance. Oh, I think it's right there. This is my undercover car. I haven't been out much since the baby. Let's get this over with. Okay. Let's do this thing. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we can go down here. Okay, I took off the VHS filter effect because it just completely slows down the recording. Sorry about that. But let's get in here. Oh, you can crouch. Okay. Do I have a flashlight? Do I have a gun? I am a police officer, after all. Hello? Oh no. Oh no, I'm so not ready for this. Again, content warning for you all. I think this game includes low bit quality. Uh, so like this quality, like gore kind of stuff. Let's just keep that in mind. Trash can. Rocks! <laughs> More trash. Okay, let's go inside. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh no, 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 no. I'm not, okay. I'm already not ready for this. I'm hey, Andrews. Andrew, there's disturbance. Static. Dispatch, can you hear me? Tired radio, I need to go back outside and get signal. Let me guess, it's locked. Gosh darn it, I came through a one-way door. I need to find an exit and call for backup. I can use space to turn on my flashlight. I can also use shift to sprint away from danger. Oh no. Oh. 
Oh, that is the flashlight. Oh, the flashlight is terrible. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Looks like some sort of fuse box. I can't open it though. It's too rusty. Okay. Oh no. Oh, I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous. Oh, what? Oh, do I want to go in there? Oh no, I hate it! <laughs> this is just like the chainsaw, or the... This is just like Power Tour Massacre. <laughs> I'm so freaked out playing that game. Oh no. Somebody there? What do I do? I just heard you jiggling the handle. Oh. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> okay, let's just... Let's just find the exit, I guess. Window's too small for me to climb through. Fair enough. Fair enough. This door is missing a door handle. I should try and find it. Oh! Oh no, it's a hunting game. No, no, no! Oh, I'm stuck in a corner! Locked from the other side. Locked from the other side? What? This is the only way to go. Back out the way we came. Oh, that scared me. Wait, no, this is a different path? Locked from the other side? Oh, oh, I hate it so much. No, this is where I came from! So we got just that... Just that door? That's the only door? Wonder if there's anything I missed just laying around. No? Okay, alright, we gotta go back. We gotta go back. Oh, I don't wanna go back! I guess maybe I could check in the trash cans? Nah. So all these doors are locked except for this one. So let's go back in here. Back in the toilet. But what am I... Is there something in the toilet? Ah, the smell coming from the toilet is horrendous. Search inside. Yep. <laughs> okay. I found nothing. Great. How disgusting. Horrendous. Yeah, let's search this one too. <laughs> the glug glug noises are terrible. Found nothing. Alright, search this one too. Did you hear someone behind me? Found a door handle. I just need to find the door with a missing handle. Do I have an inventory? No, it doesn't look like it. I might, actually. I think it's this one. Yep, okay. Got it, got it, got it. All the rest of them were locked from the other side. This is so unsettling. Large pile of something. 1903-84, employee meeting. I had a meeting with George Miller today regarding his strange behavior around the animal carcasses. He has a strange fas uh, fascination with the dead and was caught taking photos, which... <laughs> which 
which is strictly prohibited. He didn't speak throughout the whole meeting, which isn't surprising knowing George. He's always been quiet, but did a good day's work. I'm starting to worry about him a little. Oh, I'm so dead whenever I'm done with this note. so much. I hate it so much. It's a large pile of notes. Read it. Not yet. I'm going to read it from this angle. Yes! Employee meeting. I had a meeting with George Miller today regarding the strange behavior around the animal carcasses. He has a strange fascination with the dead and was caught taking photos. Oh, no. I just, I just read that one. Okay, we obviously need to go in here. Oh, come on! No! Oh, no! <laughs> Okay, just a big fan. Nothing to be worried about there. Another fan over there. Okay. Just doing full diehard here. Let's go. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, I saw something move! Oh, no! Excuse me. Something moved over there. There's breathing over there. I'm going straight ahead. Oh no, I got myself stuck! Oh, dang it. <laughs> ah, crap. Okay, well, I gotta... I guess I have to restart this now. Uh, be right back. While I'm here, we can pull the fire alarm and see what happens. It did absolutely nothing. This building is a piece of crap. <laughs> okay, that's pretty good. I like that. All right, I'll be back when we're back in the same spot. Found another car, by the way. This car is completely abandoned. All four wheels have burst and rust is seeping from the hood. Interesting. I, I don't know why I completely forgot to look <laughs> at that car when arriving at the building for the first time. So let's jump in here. Let's get back to where we just were. So hang tight. Okay, we're back. <laughs> Not gonna do the same thing I just did. Let's look for the thing that moved, by the way. See if I can find it. Oh yeah, there it goes. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna go to the right. <laughs> Cause I don't trust that. I am going closer to the breathing though, which is probably not great. Oh no. The fan is spinning too fast for me to pass through safely. Ah, crap. Oh, crap. Oh my gosh. My body's not ready for this right now. My body is so not ready for this right now. Okay, let's just go towards where we saw the thing. Left or right? I'm um, going right, I guess. Oh, the wobbly textures. <laughs> that was pretty funny. You can turn that off if you want to, by the way. Okay. We're going out this side? Okay. Alright, look where I am. I'm somewhere. Don't know. Don't know where. Oh, okay, the steam really freaked me out there. <laughs> the running sounds! It's a red valve wheel. It's jammed at the on position. Locked from the other side. There's a sign attached to the door. Read? Sure. This will be the last time you hear from me. A flickering candle on the table, a golden tear. There's only panic. Blighted. I beg for forgiveness. He who lives. Okay, let's go this way. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Why are these corridors so tight? Oh no, I don't want to go in there yet. What's going on over here? It's a big room. 1831? Or 1631? Okay. 
Oh, it's a red valve wheel. Pick up red valve wheel? Yeah. 1631. I gotta remember that. I gotta remember that. I'm not gonna remember that, huh? This game's making me so nervous! Dead end? Okay, that's not good. Should I just start sprinting for it? Oh, these corners are too tight. This guy's gonna be right behind one of these corners. 1631, 1631. 1631, 1631. <laughs> That's how I'm gonna remember it now. Ah ha ha, there we go. Cool. Every time it goes to this uh, VHS cut screen, it gets super laggy, so I apologize for that. The steam has finally stopped, so I can pass through safely. Left is a dead end. 1631. More steamies. Comes and goes. Do I go now or do I wait? I'll wait. No, I'm not gonna wait. Ooh, 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 ooh. This is a pure labyrinth. Ah, door's locked. I think I need a pin. 1631. 1631. Wait, what? Oh, no, I got it. <laughs> really not here for this. <laughs> this guy's got cages and everything. All of his tools. Is this his lair? What was that? Oh, we locked the door behind me. Oh, this is not cool. Oh, this is not cool. Let's keep moving. Let's keep moving. Oh, I'm gonna start. Is he after me? Oh no, this is a dead end. Where is he? <laughs> what is going on? What is going on? <laughs> what is going on? I'm just gonna hide here for a second. No, I have to face it firsthand. Go straight, and then we're gonna go right. Oh, we're back here. Oh my gosh, no, 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 no. Let's go right, and then left. Uh, straight. Where is he? Oh, that's all. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh no! That's it! Thank you for playing the devil of light camera slaughter! Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh no! So yeah, this is a prologue. So this is a, a teaser for the full game. This is this is this is great. This is great. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh no. I don't I don't know if I can play this. I don't know if I can play this. <laughs> when it fully comes out. This is insane. These kind of horror games just hit me deep. <laughs> so scary. Oh. What's going on? It's just going back to the main menu. Ah, okay. <laughs> Oh, interesting. Very, very interesting. 
This is, I, I feel like a lot of people are really gonna kind of jump on this game. This is, uh, this should be something that's, that's pretty cool. All right, let's go ahead and quit out of this real quick. There we go, close that window up. Close that window up. But yeah, that's a uh, lights, camera, slaughter. Very good introduction for the prologue here and kind of seeing what this game is all about. Um, very much in the thriller, kind of stalker, killer vibes of like the 80s and 90s. Um, I'm surprised, I thought this game was gonna be a lot more intense uh, in terms of like, sometimes like, I know I keep comparing this to Puppet Combo. Puppet Combo does not have a uh, overall monopoly on all of these types of games, but they're very well known for it. But Puppet Combo typically has very intense uh, games with a lot of very, very mature themes. So I'm good to, good to see that this one is not like super crazy. <laughs> but man, that atmosphere running around those, those super tiny corridors, that is just, <laughs> I'm like still like slightly shaky. <laughs> I knew as soon as I hit a dead end, I was just gonna die in there. <laughs> but that was great. I'm really looking forward to see what this uh, full game ends up being um, outside of what we just saw here on the prologue. And obviously it's something that you can go wish list on Steam if you all would like to check it out or wanna play this for yourselves. Uh, the free demo here is on itch.io. Uh, but let me know what you all thought about this. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. Leave a comment down below. Love to hear from you all. What did you think about this game? Uh, are you excited to see me potentially play the full game of this? And of course, if you're not already subscribed, consider doing so. Hit that bell notification that we know exactly when I'm uploading videos. And feel free to go check out all my socials. We got a Twitch, we got Discord, we got Twitter, we got Instagram, I got a merch channel, I got all the cool stuff, all the cool stuff that people enjoy. So if you can't get enough of me here, feel free to follow any of that. It's all linked in the description, as well as where you can find this game download. But of course, that all being said, you all are awesome. You all are amazing. And I cannot wait to see you all in the next video. Later. <laughs>